Your case, your radial keratotomy, or RK as we call it, becomes very unique because uh, besides your RK, you also had an astigmatic keratotomy, what we call Ruiz astigmatic keratotomy, a special step ladder cuts that are made with your RK. Right. That added to further instability in your cornea. In addition to that, you had what is called Fuchs dystrophy, whereas your the back layer of your cornea has a disease where it keeps uh, changing in thickness because of the fluid dynamics. Yes, by the textbook, a person like you, when their vision is so bad, they go in for a corneal transplant. To me, a corneal transplant is uh, something that we should always keep as a last resort because if there are modalities to make someone as young and dynamic as you see, with the least intervention, that's always the first choice. Mm -hmm. So what we did with you is made our calculations and made a laser surgery on top of your RK to correct your shape despite all these conditions and to make you see. Uh, as a backup, yes, we can always do a transplant. I hope that is far, far away. Um, I don't think this affects the fuchs dystrophy any negatively. And whenever you reach the cataract age, that's a whole different scenario to tackle at that time. But in the meanwhile, you have done, uh, you've got your vision and your freedom, if I may, with the least intervention uh, as far as the surgery. Mm -hmm. How do you feel now, Mark, after the surgery in your left eye that we did? I, I feel wonderful. I didn't anticipate being able to read. Uh, without any type of correction and my distance is quite well, quite good and uh, nighttime driving is fine, daytime driving is fine and I feel like I can get, I, uh, get through life as normal. Would you describe yourself as a type A? Uh, pretty close, yes. I have seen in my experience, uh, this is great beneficial for doctors who may be seeing this, most of the RK patients who seek me are type A and uh, I think there's a very close relation to that. One is uh, I'm a type A. Two is that uh, these are the very patients who are very intelligent to select surgery and what we call early adapters, meaning they look out for the best and the latest technologies and then they do their due diligence and research and they go for it. So Mark, this is also very important to me as a teacher to surgeons is that these techniques when we are doing, I'm trying to see but at least we are trying to document that the patients are also very intelligent in that they are just not accepting something with mediocre outcomes. Right. Am I right? I absolutely Otherwise you would be complaining and that's what I expect. Right. I wanted to seek a doctor who had a, speci a specialty in this field, who knew about Ruiz and knew about all the different scenarios that were involved in my eye and could uh, do the best job with it and that's why I chose you. Thank you so much, Mark. For someone like you out there, Mark, I mean, the other thing that hurts me a lot when, because I see people flying all the time to me is they're being told nothing can be done. What would be your message to someone, another Mark, sitting on that side of the camera? Well, do your research and uh, it will come up with a conclusion that something can be done. And um, I think Dr. Galani was terrific and I'm very happy that I made the decision to have the laser surgery performed by you. Thank you again. Sure. Enjoy the vision. It's been a real honor. Thank you. Absolutely.